Hello everyone! Did you ever wonder what the difference is between a naked pair and a hidden pair? Or a naked triple and a hidden triple? What about quadruples or quintuples? These are amazingly simple strategies to help anyone solve a puzzle more easily. Before I talk about pairs, triples, or even quadruples, let's first take a look at the single. And let's see what the difference is between a naked single and a hidden single. And once you understand the difference between a naked single and a hidden single, then it'll be much easier to understand that when it is applied to pairs, triples, and quadruples. So let's get started. Here is a naked single, as you can see. And once we fill in all the possible candidates for each cell, the eight here in this cell is all by its lonesome self. What this means is that this cell can only be an eight and there is no other candidate for this cell, only the eight. We can see that very easily. And that is why it is called a naked single. Block 5 has all the numbers filled in except for the 1 and 8. And this cell can't be a 1 because of this one. So this cell can only be an 8. Okay, so I think we understand the term naked as it applies to a naked single. So now what about the term hidden as it applies to a hidden single? And let's see what a hidden single is. Let's take a look at this cell. It has the candidates 1, 3, 5, and 9. So there isn't a naked single here as we had with the 8. So here the thinking is just the opposite. It's not the only candidate for a cell because clearly there are four candidates for this cell, but rather a hidden single is when it's the only place that a candidate can go. And in this case, this is the only place a one can go in both this column, column seven. And it's also the only place a one can go in the block, block three, and also the row. So although there are other possibles in this cell, the one being one of them, but there is nowhere else a one can go in the column, so it has to go here. This is called a hidden single because it is hidden amongst all the other candidates, the three, the five, and the nine. In the previous example, the eight was not hidden. It was standing there starkly naked all by itself. Let's look at the one more closely and we can see that because of all these ones, we can't have a one anywhere else in column seven. And when we look at the block, we can see that because of these ones, we also can't place a one anywhere else in the block. And the same is true for the row. You can see that because of these ones, the one can only go here. Sometimes it's not so obvious with all three units, the rows, the columns, and the block. And sometimes you'll just see it by looking at the column or just the block. But if a number can go into only one cell in a unit, that is a unit is a row, column, or block, then no matter how many other candidates there are for that unit, it has to go into that cell. So now that we understand singles, let's move on to pairs. Some people call them twins, but let's stick with the pairs term. And that means that there are just two numbers instead of a single one. So here's an example of a naked pair. The eight and nine in column nine are what I like to refer to as a matching pair. But for the purposes of this video and keeping the language constant, let's call them a naked pair. There are no other numbers in these cells, so they stand out very easily. They are not hidden. Since there are two numbers, the eight and nine, and two cells between them, that means one of these cells has to be an eight and the other has to be a nine. So there can't be any other eights or nines in the same column, and therefore we can eliminate that eight. That didn't help us place any numbers. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but it helps move the puzzle along when you can eliminate some of the candidates. We can also see a naked pair in block nine. Do you see it? It's the same eight, nine pair, but in these two cells. 
and since the 8 and 9 have to be in one of those two cells in block 9, then no other cell in the same block can be an 8 or 9, and we can eliminate this 8 and 9, and also this 8. And look at that, we have a naked single here, the 5. And that means we can eliminate this 5, and now we have a naked pair here. This is another naked pair, the 2 and the 6 in block 9, but also in the same row. So if there were any other 2s or 6s in this row, we could eliminate them, but there are none. Great, so now that we know what a naked pair is, what is a hidden pair? Just like a hidden single, the hidden pair will be hidden amongst other candidates. In this next example, take a look at block 9. Can you spot a hidden pair in block 9? It's the 3, 5 in block 9. These two cells are the only cells in block 9 that can be a 3 or a 5. There are other candidates in those cells, but there's nowhere else the 3 or 5 can go in the block. It can't go in either of these two cells because there's already a 3 and a 5 in the column and it can't go into either of these two cells since there's already a 3 and a 5 in the same row. So the 3 and 5 must go into one of these two cells. This pair is called a hidden pair because it's not so obvious like a naked pair. It's hiding amongst the other possible candidates. In this cell, we also have a 4, 7, and 8. And in this cell, there's an 8. But since these cells must be a 3 or a 5, we can eliminate those other candidates, the 4, the 7, and the 8s. How about one more example of a hidden pair before we move on to triples? Can you find a hidden pair in column 8? Pause the video and see if you can find it. It's the 3, 8 pair in column 8. There's no other cell in column 8 that can have a 3 or an 8, only these two cells. See, they can't go in block 1 because there is already a 3 and an 8 in the block. And they can't go here because there's already a 3 and an 8 in the same row. And here also they can't go because there's again a 3, 8 in this row. So the only place a 3, 8 can go is in these two cells. And so two candidates split between two cells means one of those cells has to be a 3 and the other cell has to be an 8. So any other possible candidates in those cells can be eliminated. And so we can eliminate the 2 here and the 5, 9 here. So at this point it should be obvious what the difference is between the terms naked and hidden. Naked is when it's obviously the only candidate for a cell. Hidden is when there are other candidates for that cell, and so it's hiding amongst those candidates, but it's the only place those numbers can go. Now let's move on to triples. Let's take a look at the difference between naked triples and hidden triples. By the way, they are sometimes called triplets. Triples or triplets, same thing. Just like pairs or twins mean two numbers, triples or triplets mean three numbers. Okay, let's take a look at this example of a naked triple in block two. Do you see it? You're looking for three numbers split between three cells. The numbers three, five, and seven make up the naked triple in block two. We have three numbers, three, five, and seven and they are split between these three cells, which means these three cells must either be a 3 or a 5 or a 7, and then there can't be any other 3s, 5s, or 7 in the same block. So we can eliminate the 5, 7 here, and the 7 here, leaving us with a 2, 8 naked pair, or as I sometimes call it, a matching pair. If there were any other 2s or 8s in the row, they also could be eliminated. Here's another example of a naked triple, this time in block 1. Do you see it? The 1, 4, and 8 are split between these three cells as the only candidates for those cells. 
So they have to be in one of those three cells and therefore there can't be any other ones, fours or eights in block one. So we can eliminate this four and this four, leaving us with a seven, nine pair in the block. One more example of a naked triple and then I'll move on to hidden triples and then I'll show you quadruplets. Can you find the naked triple here in this example? This time it's in a column, not a block. Take a look at column seven. Do you see it? It's the three, five, eight. Now do you see it? These three cells have only a three, five, and eight. And so those three numbers have to be split between those three cells. And therefore no other cells in column seven can be a three, five, or an eight. So we can eliminate this five here and this three here, and this three and five here, leaving us with another naked triplet in column seven, the two, seven, and nine, but there's nothing we can do with that. Now I think you're ready for a hidden triple, right? Take a look at this example. Can you find the triples that are hiding in block nine? It's the two, four, and eight hiding in these three cells. Those three numbers are split between these three cells, and that means these three cells have to be either a two, a four, or an eight, and nothing else. So we can eliminate the five, nine from this cell, and the one from here. Here's another example of a hidden triple. Can you find it? This time it's in a row, this row. Do you see the triple? It's the one, two, nine split between these three cells. There are no other cells that can be a one, two, or nine in the row. This cell can't be a one or a two or a nine because there is already a one, two, nine in column one. And the same is true for these two cells. There are one, two, nines in the same column. And the last three cells in the row are all in block nine. And there's a one, two, and a nine already in block nine, so that can't be it either. So only these three cells in this row can be a one, two, nine. There's nowhere else in the row these numbers can go. So we can eliminate the three, five, and six from this cell. And the three, five, seven from this cell and the five, six from here. Before moving on to quadruples, let's take a look at a special type of triple. This is a naked triple, but it's also called a lock triple, as I'll explain in a minute. But first, do you see the naked triple in this example? It's the two, five, six in column eight. What's so special about this naked triple is that aside from being in the same column, column eight, it's also in the same block, block three. When a naked triple appears in more than one unit, some people call them houses, then the naked triple is called a locked triple. This triple is in two units or houses. It's in the same column and the same block. A unit is a row, column, or a block. So this is in the same column and in the same block. So that means we can eliminate all the same numbers as a triple. That's the two, five, and a six. We can eliminate all those candidates from both the column and the block. So in column eight, we have a two, five, six in this cell. We can eliminate those. And the two in this cell and the five in this cell. But wait, there's more. In block three, we can eliminate the two, five, six in this cell. And also the two here. Wow, we got a lot of bang for the buck with those locked triples. Are you ready to talk about quadruples? So that's the same as singles, pairs, and triples, just with four numbers, obviously. Let's start with an example of a naked quadruple. Can you find it in this example? You're looking for four candidates restricted to four cells and take a look at block nine. Can you find the naked quad? 
it's the four, five, six, and eight, and it's restricted to these four cells. So just like with pairs, you have two candidates restricted to two cells, and with triples, you have three candidates restricted to three cells. So with quadruples, you have four candidates restricted to four cells. So there can't be any other four, five, six, and eight in the block, only in these four cells, which means we can eliminate this five here. That's not much of a payoff, but every little bit counts. Okay, so now that we've seen a naked quadruple, are you ready for a hidden quadruple? Here's another example. Can you find the hidden quad? Hint, it's in block five. It's the one, three, five, and six in these four cells. And notice there's a nine in two of these cells, but the one, three, five, and six can only go into those four cells. So we can eliminate those nines. These naked and hidden singles, pairs, triples, and quadruples are easy to spot and you'd be surprised how often they pop up, so be on the lookout. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and I hope you learned something.